Today we're going to go over the opposite pattern and how it works, how you can use it to find numbers. My name is Harold Nolte. I've been doing Sudoku for well, six or seven years now and I usually do five or six, at least five or six Sudoku puzzles a day. I have over 180 videos on this YouTube channel all about Sudoku and there's also a website sudokuprimer.com where you can find lots of Sudoku information you can learn about Sudoku techniques and patterns uh, the opposite patterns out there too there's a write-up on that you can also f find free blank Sudoku grids out there that you can print and a video index of all the videos on this channel and links to them so there's lots of good Sudoku information out there for you to, to uh, find this is puzzle number 74 from Sudoku to Go, volume 107 by Soap Opera Digest. Well, let's talk about the, the opposite pattern. In this puzzle, we have two boxes with the opposite pattern. In box 4 here, we have a 5 and an 8. And you notice those numbers are in opposite corners of each other. And so there, that is the opposite pattern. We also have in box 6 here the same situation with 2 and 5. Now what can you do with the opposite pattern? Well, when you find that, what you can do is you can look at the row that goes through the middle of the box and the column that goes through the middle of the box and see if you can find two numbers that are both in the row and the column but not in the box already. There's a 5 here, but there's already a 5 in this box, so we can't use that. But we have a th 3, 4, and 7 in this column. And we have a, seven, a 3 and a 7 here. So with this 3 and 7, and this 3 and 7, we have them in both the row and the column. So therefore, we know that these two cells are 3, 7 twins. Okay, now we can't solve those yet but they're still going to help us. Let's look at this one right here. Um, this has the opposite pattern also, the 5 and 8. And with this one, we've got a 7, but we have a 4, 5, and 1. We have a 5 here, but we've already got a 5 in the box, so we can't use that. Um, so we have a 7 in each one, but no other number in both the row and the column. All right. now. Let's look at this one again. We have uh, three seven twins, and you, you'll notice now that we have a four in this column, and the only place a four can go in this box is one of these two cells right here, because these are three seven twins. See, we can't solve them, but they're still useful to us. So that four tells us that one of these cells is a four. Okay, let's go back to this one now again. Now we have a 7 and a 4 in this column. We have a 7 in this row, and we have ghost 4s in this row. So we know these are 4, 7 twins. And we can solve them. So in this case, we had to take advantage of two opposite patterns in order to find a couple of numbers. Okay. Now let's look at... Um, this a little closer. Now that we've found four seven, four sevens here, we have we already have a four five and seven in this box, but we don't have a one yet. So we know the one is constrained to these two cells. Okay, so we can have so we have a one here, one, and one. Just like the four, where it's constrained to these two cells, because we have ghost ones here we know the one is constrained to these two cells in this box. Now we can't, we have ghost fours here and ghost ones here, but that's all we can, that's all we know right now. All right, let's uh, get going on the puzzle, uh, filling in numbers. Here we have a, a box with only three numbers, and we've got an eight there, so we know that's an eight. And the only thing that's left is a 3 and a 6, and we got a 6 there, so we can fill those in. Let 
we can put a 2 here. And some of the easier numbers like that one, I'm not going to explain how I got them. But if you have a question, please leave a comment. And I'll try and answer any questions you have. All right, now let's look at box 2 here. This is kind of interesting because we have triplets. We have a 4, 5, and 7 in this column. So we know these are 4, 5, 7 triplets. And we can even narrow that down more because we have a 5 and a 7 in this row already. So we know these are 5, 7 twins, and that's a 4. And we can solve the 5 and 7 because of that 5 there. Now with that 7 that we fit in there, we can put in a 7 here. And we've got a 4 right there. That one's easy to see. Now let's look at, uh, at this right here. We've got 4, 4, 4, and a 9, 9, 9. So we have 4, 9 twins there. With that 9, we can solve them. And that just leaves a 3 for that box right or that cell right there. So we just put that one in real quick. All right, now I think we can probably finish the fours here. Let's see what we can do. Four, there's a four there, and a four there. So we've got all our fours now. Okay. All right, now let's look at, let's see what we're missing here in this column. We're missing one, two, one, two, and eight. There's a 2 and an 8 with that 1. There's a 1 and an 8. and I mean, a 1 and a 2, sorry. And there's a 1 and an 8. But now let's look at this a little closer. We've got ghost ones here. Because this is 1, 8 twins right there. We can't solve them, but we have 1, 8 twins there. So neither of those can be a 1 or an 8. So we've got an 8 right there. And with these ghost ones here, the one can be here or here, but look, we've got a one here too. Got a here, uh, one here and ghost ones here. So we know one of these is a one, so that can't be a one. So we can fill in the one and the two there. Now with that, we've got two there, two there, so that's a two. All right, now we've only got six and nine left in this box right here. Can we solve those? Six, six. Yeah, that's a six right there and a nine right there. All right, now we've got a, so we have the one eight twins there. We've got a 9 right there, so we know that's a 9. Okay. And we're missing, we got 1 and 8 there. we got 1, 3, and 8 there, so we know that's 1, 3, and 8 there. We can't solve those yet. Let's see, i got a 9 here. So there's a 9 right there. If you remember, we've got ghost ones here, seven, three, and five. So we got, let's see, one. Let's see if we can, we've got a five in here already. So we got one, seven, and three outside this box here. So we got one, three, and seven. So what are, let's see if we can solve any of those. I got a seven there. So that's a three and that's a seven. Those are our three seven twins that we found at the beginning with this opposite pattern. Now we're missing a, uh, a one here, and there's a one there. Okay, what are we missing in this box now? One, two, three, four, five. 
6, 8, and 9. There's an 8 and a 9, so that's a 6. 8, 9. That means that's a 3. These are one three, one three twins because we've got one and a one and a three and a three. So these are one three twins right there. There's a three there, so that's a one and a three right there. And that makes that a one and an eight there. And there's an eight there, so we got eight there. This should be easy. We got one. One number left here, seven. Now we're missing six and eight there, so we can solve them. Seven and eight there, so we can solve them. Let's see. Let's look at row seven here. We're missing one, five, eight. One, five, and eight. There's an so that's a 1 or a 5. That's a 1 or an 8. There's 1 and 8 there, so that's a 5. 1, 8. Okay. Let's see what we're missing here. 6. We're missing a 1, 1 and 3 there. in that cell. This is one, two, six. So one, six, two go in there. Six and eight go there. And we're missing two, three, two, three, and five. Five. And that's it. All right. Well, we had a, a hard puzzle, but uh, we were able to find some numbers early on using the opposite pattern in, in these two boxes that we found. And that was with those opposite patterns, we were able to find a few numbers that really helped us to get going on this puzzle and uh, solve it pretty easily. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.